Nehemiah 10. Now those that sealed were Nehemiahu, the Tershatha, the son of Hakaliyahu, and Zidkiyahu, Sarayahu, Azariyahu, Yeremiyahu, Pasher, Amariyahu, Malkiyahu, Hatush, Shabaniyahu, Maluk, Harim, Merimoth, Obadiyahu, Daniel, Genathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abayahu, Miyiman, Maaziyahu, Bilgai, Shemayahu. These were the priests and the Levites, both Yeshua, the son of Azaniyahu, Binui of the sons of Hanadad, Kadmiel, and their brethren, Shabaniyahu, Hadariyahu, Kelita, Peleyahu, Hanan, Mika, Rehob, Hashabiyahu, Zakor, Sherebiyahu, Shabaniyahu, Hadiyahu, Bani, Beninu, the chief of the people, Parash, Pahav Moav, Elam, Zatu, Bani, Buni, Asgad, Bebai, Adoniyahu, Bigvai, Adin, Ater, Hezkiyahu, Azur, Hadiyahu, Hashum, Bezai, Harif, Anathoth, Nebai, Madpiyash, Meshulam, Hazir, Meshazabiel, Zadok, Yadua, Pelatiyahu, Hanan, Ananiyahu, Hoshea, Hananiyahu, Hashu, Halohesh, Peleha, Shobek, Rehum, Hashabna, Maaseyahu, and Ahiyahu, Hanan, Ana, Maluk, Harim, Baana, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethanim, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of Elohim, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in Elohim's law, which was given by Moses, the servant of Elohim, and to observe and do all the commandments of Yahuwah, our Adonai, and his judgments and his statutes. And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, nor take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year and the exaction of every debt. Also we made ordinances for us to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our Elohim, for the showbread and for the continual meat offering, and for the continual burnt offering of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for the set feasts, and for the holy things, and for the sin offerings, to make an atonement for Yasharel, and for all the work of the house of our Elohim. And we cast the lots among the priests, the Levites, and the people for the word offering, to bring it into the house of our Elohim, after the houses of our fathers, at times appointed year by year, to burn upon the altar of Yahuwah our Elohim, as it is written in the Torah, and to bring the first fruits of our ground, and the first fruits of all fruit of all trees, year by year, unto the house of Yahuwah. Also the firstborn of our sons and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, to bring to the house of our Elohim, unto the priests that minister in the house of our Elohim, and that we should bring the first fruits of our dough and our offerings, and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our Elohim, and the tithes of our ground unto the Levites, that the same Levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. And the priest, the son of Aaron, shall be with the Levites, when the Levites take tithes, and the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes unto the house of our Elohim, to the chambers, into the treasure house. For the children of Yasharel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn, of the new wine, and the oil, unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the porters, and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our Elohim.